All right, uh, I got to go with Dimitri for my first question. Obviously, congratulations on that goal. Uh, really nice shot. And you know, how how do you think that you've been able to use your shot more to your advantage over the games since you got reinserted back into the lineup? Uh, thank you for uh, for congratulations. And uh, I know just uh, I'm thinking to shoot more and uh, just got got this mindset lately. So uh, trying to shoot more pucks and uh, throw the. Uh, did a great job in front of the net screen in that. And, uh, you know, I got to give them credits and uh, just trying to shoot more lately and uh, it's coming. Yeah, and you've spent a lot of time uh, in the past few games playing on uh, on a line with Matthew Phillips, um, who I think, from my perspective, is a player who maybe does a lot of the same things that you do. Uh, how do you think that you've been able to uh, complement each other on the ice? Uh, I think we feel each other good and uh, uh, keep building the, the chemistry between each other and uh, of course uh, it's good to play with him it's it's nice yeah. to play with him he's doing a lot of great job uh, he's keeping the puck he's uh, he's uh, he's going to the zone and keeping it you know it's uh, nice to play with him he's creating the space for you and uh, trying to he's giving me some tips some advices and um, just uh, trying to be better in that uh, in that too and uh, I mean that's real nice yeah, and uh, my last one for you. Um, I think the last time we talked to you a few weeks ago, um, Jan Kuznetsov had just signed, and I think I asked you about him. And you said that you'd never met him. Uh, he's here now. Got the got the uh, pregame skate. And uh, what are your first impressions on him? I mean, uh, good guy. He's uh, he's smiling. Uh, I talked to him a little bit. I, I knew I knew a lot of good buddies uh, back home and. Uh, uh, good guy. Yeah. I mean, we'll we'll see like how he's gonna be later, but. Uh, uh, great guy, we, me and Alex uh, talking to him, helping helping him out. And uh, if he got some questions, he's always ask us and stick to st stick to us uh, right now. But uh, uh, great player too, I think. All right, thanks, Dimitri. Thanks. Go ahead over to Paige. Yeah, a question for Andrew. Um, with you starting in Kansas City this season, did you appreciate getting a little bit of a head start before coming to Stockton here? Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to get uh, extra practice time, game time. Uh, obviously, this has been a weird year and a lot of uncertainty on if there's ever going to be a season. So uh, from my perspective, I, I enjoyed the, the games and the practice time. Uh, you can kind of get rolling full speed, shake that, that rust off from the, sum the elongated summer pretty early and just kind of get on a roll. And then um, I think that's helped me uh, come here and, and just continue that uh, to build off that success. And is there a different type of preparation that you find yourself doing between an ECHL game and an AHL game? Uh, no, I've just been keeping the same preparation uh, throughout the entirety, either down in, in the ECHL or here. I mean, I've been playing hockey for for a while. We all, and we all know ourselves pretty uh, pretty well up to this point. so. For me, I've just been keeping it the same and, and just going about my business day to day and, and trying to, to work where I can and, and improve my game. Thank you. And then a quick question for Dimitri as well. Uh, you've been pretty solid in the last two games. Have you really felt yourself hit a stride as well? Uh, I mean, for sure, lately, the last two games, uh, I think I played better and uh, just feel myself more uh, more comfortable, more relaxed. I know trying to, uh, to just relax and play hockey. For sure. And then one last question for me. Um, did you get to keep a puck from tonight for your first goal? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Byron Froze gave me the give me the puck, so it's, it's nice. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Go to Patrick. For Andrew, uh, what's the adjustment like in terms of this season? Uh, the schedule is so different, uh, and for goalies, probably they get hit harder more than anybody, uh, even in practice. Uh, how are you adjusting to that workload and not getting game action on a regular basis? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a different uh, season so far, and, and it's been a little challenging. And obviously, it's new challenges uh, based on the the season itself, and with the uh, the carrying multiple goalies, uh, trying to to get reps where you can. Whether it's trying to go out early, trying to stay as late as you can, just finding ways to to take something away positively from that day, and, and really take a step forward and, and work on what you can because there's limited ice time. You, you don't know what, what day uh, we're, we're going to have available for, for whatever it is. So it has been uh, a, a different challenge to adapt to, but uh, so far just been continuing to, to try to find a way to, to take something positive away from the day. Great. Thank you.
All right, anything more for you, the player? Mike, go ahead. Yeah, just one more sort of general AHL question um, for you, Andrew. Uh, did you reach out to uh, your former Quinnipiac teammate, uh, Odin Tupto, after he signed his ELC with Tampa the other day? Uh, I, I haven't texted him yet, but uh, no, and he's an awesome guy, and he's going to do, do great things out in Tampa, and, and obviously he had a, a tremendous collegiate career, so I, uh, I don't foresee him slowing down his, his pace, and, and I think uh, Tampa got, got pretty lucky and, and scored an, an awesome dude and definitely an amazing, amazing hockey player. Right, and you know, Dimitri, uh, my last question for you is, you know, going forward, I, I don't know, six games left in the season. You know, what is your goal for the rest of the season? Just as you continue to maybe establish yourself as an impact player for this team. I mean, uh, of course, continue to get better everywhere in uh, each like uh, each thing. You know, like D zone, offensive zone, neutral zone, get like better everywhere. Like feel more confident and uh, you know, build on that season. You know, and. Uh, this is stay positive and uh, just play hockey.